story that continues to surface every few months, and it's back again. Will the capital city see a WHL team? The current operator of Save on Foods Memorial Center, RG Properties, has been given a nudge by the city of Victoria. If they can find a team, they will extend their lease in the center. Well, have full coverage tonight, including a chat with the reporter who broke this latest story in just a few minutes. But first, here's Kylie Stanton with a look at the latest. <laughs> It's all about the Salmon Kings and the ECHL in the capital. Since 2004, the team has called Victoria home. But all this could soon come to an end. Well, we received requests from RG Properties that uh, if we can extend the lease, it provides them with some certainty uh, on being able to attract the WHL team. The request was approved, and now the company has the Save on Foods Memorial Center until the year 2046, if they can score a Western Hockey League franchise. They don't get the lease extension unless they get a WHL team, um, and they must guarantee that the team's there for 10 years. I'm not saying that they are doing it. I'm not saying that they have one coming. It just it sets up the preconditions that if they choose to go out and look for a WHL team, then they know that they have this lease option that they can rely on. But the company is not playing into the speculation. President of RG Properties, Dave Dakers, has released a statement saying while the approval is pop saying while the approval is a positive step forward toward the return of the WHL, it's only one step of many. The league isn't new to Victoria. For 23 seasons, the Cougars played top-level junior hockey, taking home major titles with the help of some big names. In 1994, they relocated to Prince George. But their legacy lives on here, along the walls of the Save on Foods Memorial Center. And a comeback would mean big things for the city. Everybody, you know, really enjoyed having a WHL team here. Um, we've really enjoyed the salmon cream. Ultimately, having a good quality hockey product in that arena is important to all of us here. We enjoy them having a tenant there. But the league is not expanding. There are teams in trouble, the likes of Prince George, Portland, Saskatoon, and Kootenai, all struggling in attendance. <laughs> It's something the Salmon Kings know all too well, and what could spell the end of the ECHL in Victoria, and possibly the beginning of the Western Hockey League. Jeff King is with us now. He's been following the story for some time and joins us from the center as the Salmon Kings take to the ice tonight. Right now he's joined by the Times columnist Cleve Deanshaw. Jeff. Yeah, thanks very much, Scott. And Cleve did break the story today. And first of all, you know, it's sort of much ado about nothing right now, but it is one of many steps, I guess. Oh, one of many steps. And I think it's more than a little to do about nothing. No. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's close. Uh, I keep hearing from different sources that... Uh, that there could be an announcement uh, this spring, uh, later this summer, that the WHL will eventually return in, in some form. Okay, and, and a couple of sort of new rumors this afternoon, uh, radio station in the Lower Mainland saying that perhaps uh, the Chilliwack, uh, the Chilliwack Bruins franchise could be in trouble and that it might be it. And also some rumors that uh, the Dub has said they are not going to expand, but there are some rumors that uh, perhaps that's not true. Um, uh, sources have told us that uh, Victoria could get an expansion franchise for 2012-2013, in which case this would be a final sort of sentimental send-off year next year for the ECHL and the Salmon Kings and could be marketed as such. And other sources have told us that it's going to be uh, a team move here, and there's plenty of options for teams, as you know. Uh, the WHL is hurting right now. I mean, down to just over 2,000 fans in Prince George and in Cranbrook. Uh, Chilliwack is up against the AHL team in Abbotsford, and one of those has to give, you know. Uh, and so that uh, they're into play, the, the Bruins, so there's plenty of rumors and uh, plenty of uh, sort of interesting speculation going on, but uh, the, the vibe I get is something is going to happen. It's going to happen sometime uh, before this summer is out. Hey, and you've been writing uh, sports here since Moby Dick was in Minnow. Uh, maybe you can tell us, do you think it'll work here? Because what's saying that, that Victoria, you know, didn't work here in the mid-90s, that's why they had to get rid of it? Would it work here? What do you think? Oh, I think it'll work here. Uh, really? I, I think it's a more of a uh, fit for Canada because people feel comfortable with the major junior brand. They know what it is. Uh, ECHL was a bit of a harder sell simply because people didn't know what it was, that there was a, a level below the HL, which is a de developmental level. Could, we're talking about this but the great irony of this is when you go to a WHL game, you're watching mostly future right. ECHL and AHL. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And you're only going to, only one or two of those guys are going to go on to be the major NHL stars. Everybody talks about it with the, you know, in, the, in the dub. So you're generally going to go out to watch ECHLers, AHLers, and the other half of the team is going to be washed out of the system after their right. uh, 20th year. So it is interesting and ironic in many ways. Yeah, and then when you start to, to factor in the troubles with the Phoenix Coyotes and the prospects of them perhaps moving back to Winnipeg, then the Manitoba Moose would have 
to move, and would that not be the perfect scenario? Would that not be the perfect scenario for this city well, to have the know, American this argument? Is a totally personal opinion, but I, if the Moose were here as uh, as a team that eventually came, I think that would be bigger than WHL. Yeah. The Canucks are so big in this province, to, and to have the main farm team with player from here actually moving up to Vancouver would be unbelievable. I think it would draw bigger crowds than the WHL would. And you know that 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 move to Winnipeg is getting getting more and more oh, yeah. credence by yeah. the day. So I mean, this could happen very quickly, and it's funny that. That could put. It, that's the wild card in all this. And I think that's the sense of urgency that uh, WHL is feeling right now. Is if they get another AHL team out here, you know, with Abbotsford. I mean, they're, what they're trying to do is now trying to get. I believe the WHL is trying to get Victoria out of the AHL picture, uh, and that means they got to they got to move here first. Wow. And I think things are happening very very quickly, and the whole situation is fluid, and anything is possible at this point. And it's funny from being sort of proceed to be out of the loop for many years in, in hockey. Here we are, the bell of the ball, Victoria. Yeah. Everybody you know, wants in. Yeah, isn't that, the, isn't that the truth? Yeah. And this all could uh, come to fruition pretty quickly. You'll have more on this tomorrow in the Times Columnist? Yeah, we have a story in tomorrow's Times Columnist. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for doing this, Clay. Thanks, Appreciate yeah. it. There you go, Scott. So rumors are running rampant and... Uh, all we know for sure right now is the Salmon Kings are playing here tonight against the Bakersfield <laughs> Condors, and I will check in with you a complete look at sports uh, coming up at around quarter to six. Sounds good. Thanks, Jeff. All right. On this, we're joined by Jeff King. And Jeff, I know you've been following this story for some time, and earlier during the 5 o'clock cast, you had Cleve Deanshaw, who broke the story today about this latest news of RG Properties. Uh, what's your take on this? Is this more than a rumor? Does this one have a little more concrete attached to it? Well, you know, the weird part is, is that, you know, really something could go down here in the next few months. You know, uh, nothing is really concrete whatsoever other than, you know, the city trying to make some concessions in case uh, the WHL uh, does decide to come into town. A couple uh, interesting facts. Uh, the WHL uh, today uh, saying that they will not be expanding, although we have heard from some sources that that may not be true, that there might be an expansion and perhaps Victoria, the WHL is saying that uh, Victoria is the number one city on their radar. So you can watch for that. And, yeah, there's the likes of Saskatoon, uh, Portland, and uh, Prince George. They're all lacking in attendance. So, you know, those teams could end up uh, trying to find a home here. But, you know, nothing concrete there. And then the other side of the coin is, is when you look at the uh, Phoenix Coyotes situation and uh, perhaps they moving to uh, Manitoba, and then that would mean the Manitoba Moose would have to find a new home. And I would guarantee you that the Vancouver Canucks would like that new home to be victorious. So, you know, if they jump the gun, too early and bring the dub here and then perhaps the Manitoba Moose are looking for a new home. You know, it could be uh, trouble. I can tell you one thing, that if the Manitoba Moose move here to Victoria, that that will be a success story for sure. You know, you really don't know that WHL has failed here before and you know, it's not a great crowd here again tonight. The WA, uh, DCHL is not doing great here in the WHL. You know, who knows if uh, that would be a success story, especially if they don't bring a winning team to town. So, uh, you know, no guarantees here yet, Scott, but uh, uh, things could go down, and uh, Cleve Deansaw said that he will have more in the uh, Times columnist tomorrow on this story. Well, and on the uh, Moose front, uh, them possibly moving here, obviously a lot of things would have to happen. You'd have to see the whole NHL shakeout, Phoenix going to Winnipeg, which seems to be picking up speed or momentum. Uh, is Save On Foods, uh, the more Memorial Center there, is it capable of holding on to an AHL, AHL team. It's got the right facilities, enough boxes, seats, etc. Yeah, it sure does. In fact, you know what? It's around uh, five to 6,000 uh, average in the American Hockey League. Uh, league is a success story, and they'll be making money at that point. And uh, you you got to know with just how crazy this province is with their Canucks. You know, could you imagine tonight seeing the likes of uh, Cody Hodson on the ice and, you know, a lot of the up-and-comers and guys that are in and out of the Canucks lineup? You know, it would be a huge product here. I would think easily they would sell 5,000 season tickets and you know with an extra 1,000 walk up uh, it would be a success story here and they do have the right facility uh, but you know there's a lot of what ifs there for sure. Before we let you go uh, just uh, obviously there's a Salmon Kings game there tonight uh, just a little tee up on how important this game is the Salmon Kings are playing very well lately yeah, it's game two of three against the Bakersfield Condors. Uh, the Sam Kings won the opener 3-0 on Wednesday night. And actually, they're one of the hottest teams right now in the ECHL. They've won six of their last eight games. They are now actually in a playoff spot. If they can win tonight and tomorrow night against the Bakersfield Condors, that'll move them one uh, spot higher up. And, uh, you know, 
having pretty uh, looking pretty good heading into the playoffs. So, you know, uh, if you've not seen the Salmon Kings, or let's say you've heard some negative things, you know, because they, uh, you know, they have struggled this year a little bit. Well, the team is on track right now. It's pretty exciting hockey. So uh, get down here, and of course. Uh, Puck drop tonight at 7.05, and uh, Mike Walker is in the big sports chair tonight. He will have the highlights on Czech Sports at 10 and 11 tonight, Scotty. Sounds good. Thanks, Jeff. Enjoy the game. All right. Thanks, buddy.